Today I'm going to be showing you guys how we achieved this really sweet Beyonce inspired look. Um, and I'm going to show you what I did to prep the hair and my scalp so that I didn't get super itchy while I had the braids in. All the hair I use will be listed in the description box, but I didn't use the end two of that picture. So you've got to get uh, warm water, fill up a bathtub or a sink, I use the bath so it's easier to see. Um, and then I just eyeballed apple cider vinegar. Again, don't worry, I'll list everything in the description box. And I give it a little swish around. Warm, not hot water. 15, 20 minutes later, I'm taking those out, hanging them on a hanger, and I'm just gonna um, squeeze out the excess. And then we're gonna shower all the apple cider vinegar out and that is going to have gotten rid of the alkaline base that is so irritating for our scalps. So we're on a fresh head of hair and this is just what I like to do to keep my scalp as itch free as possible while I have braids in. I don't recommend that everyone do this because it is kind of hardcore to put an essential oil directly onto your scalp but for me it's always always works out fine so I've used tea tree oil and I'm just sort of running that through the most problem areas of my scalp massaging it in um, if you don't want to be so hardcore you could always use a carrier oil which I would recommend maybe dilute it with a bit of olive oil or another oil of your choice Wherever you're sensitive is where you'd use this. Mine is right around those areas. They are just get so itchy and nasty. This is a new product I've started using. I can't remember if it was because I'd seen it in someone else's recommendations on YouTube or because I just saw it in my local hair shop, beauty supply store. Um, but yeah, this is really good. It is just massive relief, like if your hair's at all itchy. So I always use it now around the time that I'll be putting braids in and just massage that into the like um, second most problem areas of my scalp and around the front of my hairline where there is tension. I like to use this. Y'all haters corny with that Illuminati mess. Paparazzi, catch my fly and my cocky fresh. I'm so reckless. Also good for when you've had your braids in for a little while, they might get a little bit itchy. Just give it a little spritz on your scalp. My favourite product of all time, Shea Butter. Now, there was really no method to how I was buying my hair and just section it out for this. I don't know if it's because my hair was a bit short at the time. I don't know what I was doing. You'll see throughout the video that a lot is going on. But yeah, I just wanted to get a section and to get it nice and buttered up with Shea Butter because I absolutely love it. You always want to make sure your hair is nice and moisturised before you're putting braids in. Try and minimise breakage or sometimes go through with um, a wide tooth comb and then a rat tail comb for my parts so that I've got less breakage. My parts aren't really important to me to be honest though and maybe I'll start like this but usually I'm just parting them any which way and also I like the hair to look a little bit worn. I don't want those, for me I don't really like those proper box braidy looks. So this is what the hair looked like when it was finished. So happy with it. It's fluffy. It's free of all the irritating chemicals that were on it. Um, I'm going to cut those bundles in half.
and I'm going in with one of the browns and one of the darker blondes, which is what I'm using at the lower sides of both my head. And I'm just going to lengthen it and tether it off so we can get the most out of our hair because the Beyonce braids are long. I didn't make mine as long as hers because I couldn't really be bothered, but I think next time I do them I'll make them longer. I always mess around a bit longer when I'm just starting. Uh, don't spend this long. <laughs> just give it a good little pull and lengthen your hair and get on with it. Because this hairstyle takes a long time. I was just checking the length. See about how long they were going to be. Before getting stuck in and doing my first braid. I split the hair and hooped it round. Just pretty regular knotless braids. And technique. I've got a little bit of oil. I'll show you what oil I use later on. Same yesterday and it goes round and around. Oh, we're just gonna join that up and do a normal braid. I think the knotless method, as well as looking more natural, is just so much easier to do. So these are the simplest ones to do because I was just starting with the same hair that I was going to go down the braid with. That doesn't quite make sense but you'll see what I mean in a little bit. So yeah, I've done those around both sides and now I'm going to use a slightly different um, technique for the ones that are a bit higher on my head. I'm really not trying to scalp myself of edges so I'm sure around here where my hair is particularly fragile to pull out my hairline before I'm doing the braid. <clears throat> On these ones I just started with the dark brown and just one piece of it. So I'm using my own natural hair as the third piece. So slightly different to what I was doing before. Keeping that those edges out of there. And then when we're an inch or so down, I'm adding in another brown piece so that each strand of hair now, including my own natural hair, has got um, some extension hair in it. And the braid is getting a little thicker. continuing to add on little by little I'm always getting tangled and then finally we're coming in with some of that blonde To start incorporating that ombre effect.
and then a little bit more and adding in this way as well allows you to lengthen those braids without having to use longer strands as we're adding and adding and I also found that it was easier to clean my hair, keep it clean. The build up, the product build up and stuff wasn't as bad around the front because there was such a small amount of um, extensions hair at the root. And it was also a lot less tension, which is good. We all trying to protect our edges. So I was really happy with that, how that came out. Nice little ombre mix. This was the oil I was talking about, guys. I'm going to put the link to it. I love this oil. It is my everyday usage oil. Well, I don't. To be fair, I don't oil my hair every day. But anytime I do oil my hair, I will use Agor. I hope I'm saying the name right. Then I went in with the Eco Styler Gel. I don't tend to put gel through all my braids. I know it makes them slicker but I don't really tend to do it but the top ones where you're really gonna see the rapid deterioration of your braids and you know little fuzz start coming out I like to stick some gel on the ends of the strands to get things as, as smooth as possible and this is the last one I wanted to show you again I started out with extension hair just on two of the strands and then braiding it down and adding in some more on the third strand. At first I found this a little bit tricky when I started doing braids that way but you get used to it pretty quickly. And I do think it makes a big difference for the tension on the top of your hair. And it's a much faster way to lengthen your braids. I did this over such a number of days, I was not fussed with getting this done quickly. I think it probably took somewhere around 10 to 12 hours. I'm certainly not the fastest braider, but also I just couldn't be bothered. I wanted to enjoy it this time around, so I just did it in the little pockets of time that I had. And I either had music on or I'd caught up the box set or whatever. And it was actually a really enjoyable little time putting these in. I was glad when it was finished though. So there we are, all done with the braiding part and I was really happy with the results. I got myself some scissors and trimmed off the really obvious long um, flyaway hairs. And then I'm going to mousse myself up. As you can see I'm going to get mousse everywhere, all over my arms as well as my head. But um, yeah, I didn't used to finish my hair off with a mousse, but I have found that it does keep that sleek hold in for longer so it's a nice little added finish once I've got like mainly the bit where my natural hair is uh, as covered in mousse as I can get it I then take my cellophane 
if you're American, I think you call it saran wrap. And I just wrap that quite tightly um, around my hair where the mousse is. And then we want to achieve those wavy ends. So in four sections, I'm braiding up my hair so that we can get to it. I wish I had done the braids a little differently. Um, if I could do it again, I would have done them, I would have started them lower down. And I wouldn't have done them so tight because I did end up a little bit of a ramen noodle, ramen noodle head. Which wasn't exactly the look I was going for, but you know, I was still happy with it. But yeah, it was just four sections and braid them up. I would go, if you want it to look more like Beyonce's, I would start lower. And maybe you could even just do two braids. So you had a little bit of a softer. I um, can't even remember what they're called. A softer wave. <laughs> So we've done those braids. I have got a bucket of boiling water, so be very careful. I'm used to doing this, so I wasn't too scared or bothered, but maybe wrap around a towel around you as you're doing it. And I just dipped them all in that boiling water, right the way up to the top of the braid. Squeeze the ends out with your towel. Make sure your hair has cooled down before you do this. And then just undo carefully undo the braids. Look at that ramen texture. <laughs> but I like it. And once you've got your final finish, you can then go and trim away any more of the edges that you don't need. Edges? The ends that you don't need? And here I was just trying to show you um, the different colours and stuff that's going on. There were more blonde on the bottom. And then obviously I'd done more of an ombre round the top. The back bit, which I didn't show, the, un the un under the back bit, I had just done brown to give it a little bit more dimension with the colour. And that was that. If you enjoyed the moody contortions of my face throughout this tutorial, please do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!